please quickly write this down. Number one, Jesus, the man Christ Jesus, was the greatest protester that ever lived. Jesus was the greatest protester that ever lived. Just like Moses, Jesus in his day led a protest. Jesus in his days led a protest which led to a great revolution in his generation. And we can feel the impact of Jesus' protest up to today. In John chapter 2, verse 13 to 17. John chapter 2, verse 13 to 17. It says, And the Jews' Passover was at hand, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem, and found in the temple those that sold oxen, and sheep, and doves, and the changers of, of money, sitting. Verse 15. And when he had made a scourge or small cord, he drove them all out of the temple, and the sheep, and the oxen, and poured out the changers' money, and overthrew the tables. Verse 16. And said unto them, that sold doves, take these things hence, make not my father's house an house of merchandise. And his disciples remembered that it was written, The zeal of thy house has eaten me all. So Jesus led a protest while he was alive. Just like Moses, Moses led a protest in the land of Egypt and delivered the Israelites from the power of Pharaoh. So Jesus deliver the people. He deliver the people in the synagogue. And he correct some traditions in the synagogue by leading a protest. Not a peaceful protest, but a violent protest. Jesus Christ led a violent protest. According to verse 15. Look at it. Verse 15. Look at it. And when he had made a scourge or small cord, he drove them all out of the temple. He drove them all out of the temple by making use of a small cord. By beating them with a small cord, he drove them out of the temple. And the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changers' money. And overthrew the tables. So Jesus' protest in the synagogue was a violent one. And his protest brought a great revolution to his generation. And mind you, we can feel the impact. We can feel the impact of his protest. Up to this day. Jesus' protest was physical. And Christ's protest was spiritual. Jesus' protest was both physical and spiritual. He led a physical protest. And he also led, led a spiritual protest in the realm of the dead. Jesus led a physical protest while he was alive and he also led a physical protest, a spiritual protest in the realm of the dead. So Christ's protest was both spiritual and physical. He went to the realm of the dead and after three days, he led them out of the realm of the dead. Jesus delivered the dead 
from the power of the grave. He delivered the body from the power of the grave and delivered the spirit and soul from the power of hell. Jesus was the greatest protester that ever lived. There are two principles I want you to take note of. Two major principles from this revelation. Two major principles. And write it down. Write it down now. Point number one. Jesus put an end to bad governance. So we must engage ourselves in protest to put an end to bad governance. Just like the situation.